I don't want to come out here and shit on Bernie Sanders every day, but the hypocrisy and the weakness on display from Bernie just makes it impossible to ignore. I want to address an incredibly silly point that people seem to be making after Bernie Sanders endorsed Joe Biden, which is, oh, Bernie said he was going to do this from last year. He said he was going to endorse Joe Biden. He was going to campaign for Joe Biden if he was a nominee. So why are you complaining about it now? Just because a year ago, Bernie Sanders told us that he's going to be, if he doesn't win the nomination, he's going to become a hypocrite and lie and be incredibly disingenuous to get Joe Biden elected doesn't mean I'm just going to not say anything about it when he actually starts doing that. For five years, Bernie's been going around saying, and these are his words, not my words, that the people of this country need a political revolution because the decades of neoliberal corporatist policies have devastated their lives. And they need help now. They don't need incremental change. They don't need change five years from now, 10 years from now. They need radical change now. So now that the the primary is over and Bernie lost to Joe Biden, those people didn't all of a sudden not need a revolution anymore and could settle with incrementalism. No, those people still desperately need a revolution. They still desperately need radical change in this country. So our position has remained consistent this entire time. It's Bernie Sanders who has become a hypocrite and changed his goals and has gone from saying we need a revolution right now, right this second, to, ah, it's okay, let's everybody, let's go uh, uh, elect Joe Biden and his neoliberal incrementalism because I think that is more important than actually making progress towards a revolution. Bernie Sanders changed his priorities. I didn't change my priorities. So I'm going to call him out for it. I don't care if he made an announcement that this is what he was going to do a year ago. He's doing it now. It's disgusting. It's shameful. And it's definitely worthy of criticism. So yesterday, the Associated Press published some of an interview that they did with Bernie Sanders after he endorsed Joe Biden. And the headline of it was that... So in the interview, he was asked about some of his supporters, prominent supporters, uh, like Brianna Joy Gray, who was his uh, national press secretary for this uh, 2020 campaign, and other people like David Sirota and I'm sure uh, Nina Turner and other prominent progressives who supported Bernie Sanders, who are now saying that as it is right now, they have no intention of endorsing, supporting maybe even voting for Joe Biden in the general election. And Bernie's response was just cowardly and shameful and incredibly disingenuous. So I want to start with this quote. Quote, I believe that it's irresponsible for anybody to say, well, I disagree with Joe Biden and therefore I'm not going to be involved. End quote. And basically he says that anybody who does that is simply basically enabling uh, Trump to get reelected. There's a lot to get to in that. I want to start with the framing of it, which lacked all relevant context on purpose, which is why I say it was disingenuous. He ju- he tries to frame it as, oh, you just disagree with Joe Biden. These are just, you know, minor disagreements, maybe You want this policy and he doesn't want to go as far in that policy. But you know, overall, Joe Biden represents you. So I don't see what the big deal is. That's basically how how the framing of that comes across. Ignoring the fact that the reason why there are legitimate reasons why people do not want to support Joe Biden. And these aren't just small things that you can you can just tell people to get over on every single major policy issue. Not only is Joe Biden currently on the wrong side of all of them, whether it's Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, debt free public college, ending the wars. Joe Biden's on the wrong side of all those issues and some. But there's an added layer that Joe Biden personally, his actions throughout his career have created and exacerbated all of those problems. 
So it's not when people say I'm not voting for Joe Biden, it isn't because he thinks the minimum wage should be fourteen dollars an hour. I think it should be fifteen dollars an hour, and we have a slight disagreement. And I'm not going to budge, so I'm not going to vote for Joe Biden. That's not what it is at all. Joe Biden has promised to continue the status quo, which has devastated millions of people throughout this country. And he go, Bernie goes on further and talks about how doing that, um, not getting behind Joe Biden, you're, you're helping to reelect the most dangerous president of all time. But Bernie, why won't you ever acknowledge this? This is what I'm saying. He's leaving out relevant context on purpose. Why won't you ever acknowledge the, the second part of that point? Donald Trump's the most dangerous president of all time. And Joe Biden will also be an incredibly, extremely dangerous president. You never mentioned that part. You only mentioned, you only uh, uh, framed the, the, the decision of who to vote for as one's the most dangerous president of all time and the other one's Joe Biden. No, the other one is also dangerous. And how about this? I don't want to vote for anybody who's going to endanger my life, who's going to endanger my economic standing in this country. Why would I want to do that? But again, he never wants to acknowledge that point. So I want to get into the the actual quote, which is causing the most controversy, where he says it's irresponsible for anybody to not try to get Joe Biden elected. Irresponsible. It is irresponsible. And this is coming from a man who made the decision to go against his own staff and never lay a glove on Joe Biden for all of the many horrendous, disgusting policy decisions that he's made throughout his career, which cost him this election. So you want to talk about irresponsible, you're irresponsible. Your stubbornness and unwilling and being unwilling to criticize your dear friend Joe Biden put us in a situation where Trump is now so much more closer to being reelected. You were irresponsible. And you want to call your supporters irresponsible. Where was, where was all this harsh criticism and, and tough truths on the campaign trail when it came to Joe Biden? It was irresponsible. It is currently irresponsible for Joe Biden to run on neoliberalism, which is what got Trump elected in the first place and is likely to get Trump reelected in 2020. Neoliberal corporatism in the Democratic Party. But would Joe Biden, I mean, would Bernie Sanders ever come out and, and call Joe Biden irresponsible for his policies and the strategy that he's uh, using in his campaign? No, he won't. Which brings me to the, the next point I want to make, which is the voter shaming. And what a gigantic waste of time that is. One of the most insidious parts about voter shaming lefties is that you're putting the blame for a disastrous outcome on them because when faced with an impossible decision, they didn't choose the choice that you decided is acceptable. But the people who are most responsible conveniently get let off the hook entirely. The media that propped up Joe Biden and shielded him from any real criticism while at the same time doing everything in their power to discredit the strongest candidate in the race who had the best chance of beating Donald Trump. The entire neoliberal, corporatist, democratic establishment who for decades kicked voters in the teeth and pursued policies that directly harm us to, be to serve their big donors. And, and those same people did everything in their power to make sure that Joe Biden is the nominee, even though his policy and his strategy have already proven to fail against Trump, like we saw in 2016 with Hillary Clinton. And yes, Joe Biden, who refuses to support incredibly popular left-wing policies because he's so corrupt. All these people set the stage for a possible Trump re-election, but it's the people with the least amount of influence over the process who get not the most blame, they get all the blame. And just like we learned in 2016, that will be the beginning and the end of the conversation. And none of the people who are actually responsible for reelecting Trump will ever be held accountable. And now Bernie Sanders has joined in on the establishment protection racket, which is voter shaming. 
and laying out the argument that from already seven months ahead, that if Joe Biden loses to Donald Trump, it's all on the voters. It's their fault. Bernie Sanders is, is out there pushing this bullshit right now. After this 2020 Democratic primary, the left is the left is in disarray. We have no clear leader. There is no clear plan. There is no clear strategy of how we get out of this mess. But one thing that is becoming incredibly clear every single day are the battle lines that are being drawn. On one side, you have the neoliberal corporatist democratic establishment trying to yet again shove neoliberalism down our throats at the barrel of a gun. And on the other side, you have lefties who are saying enough is enough. We aren't going to vote for our own executioner. This isn't working. We've got nothing. And we will never get nothing if we continue doing things this way. So we need to find a new game plan. And it's crystal clear right now that Bernie Sanders is not aligned with the movement. He's on. He's not on the side of the movement that he's led for the last five years. He is now aligned with the centrist, corporatist, establishment neoliberals in the Democratic Party. They have the same goal now, which is to lie, trick, and shame people into voting for Joe Biden to be president of the United States so that he can become president and continue the status quo of neoliberal corporatism. Now, again, you can rationalize it however you want. You can say, oh, no, Bernie isn't actually trying to get neoliberal corporatism implemented in the White House. He just wants to get Trump out of the White House. And the best avenue to do it is is to get Joe Biden reelected, to get Joe Biden elected. You can spin that and and make it sound as noble as you want. But like I said, at the the end of the day, his end goal is the same as the end goal of the the neoliberals in the Democratic Party. So it's tough to say, but Bernie Sanders is not our ally at the moment. And everybody needs to understand that. 